Hey, this is Sahan from Details Pro, and this is a quick video tutorial on one of our new features. This one is about renaming design elements. So I'm gonna show you how to use the feature, how I use the feature, and just give you some tips and tricks uh, on top of all of that. So just to get started, this is how this feature works. Basically, where you normally see all the design elements in your design on the left, this new feature lets you rename them and give them nicknames, is how I like to think of it. So. For example, this, um, what I've got as titled books row over here is really just a horizontal stack. So I used this rename button and I you know, put in books row. If I get rid of that, you'll see what you would see in the previous updates to this app, which is horizontal stack. So this was, you know, it was helpful up to a point because you could see, you know, what your design was made of. But as you got into the ones that were a little bit more dense, like, this uh, weather widget, it was a lot of, you know, it just became too repetitive. It's like horizontal, vertical, vertical, vertical. There, there wasn't enough, uh, weren't enough ways to easily navigate your own work, let alone share that work with somebody else and make it easy for them to navigate. So that is really the whole point of this feature. It's to make it easier to just stay on top of your own ideas and then make it easier to share those ideas with a teammate or the internet or whoever and communicate what you wanted. So for example, here, again, I'm just gonna improve that. Instead of horizontal stack, I was thinking that was gonna be a books row. And actually the padding looks a little funny. There we go, 20. So yeah, so this horizontal stack, instead I want it to be called books row. Yep, easy peasy. A um, couple tips and tricks for how this works. When you uh, copy it, that name is actually still going to stick with it. So for example, you can see if I was gonna pretend to paste that over here, right up there on that paste option, it says books row. So you know if you, if you do give your design elements names that are helpful, hopefully it helps you. Also, it should make using Details Pro just easier in general. Um, another thing you can do, for example, if I take books row and I, I already have it copied, so I didn't need to do that. But if I make a new design, let's say I want to work on fitting these into a widget. They're going to be a little big, but let's see how this looks. Actually, I'm just going to delete everything. I'm going to go paste. Not terrible, but you can see everything stayed. Books row, book, cover. So as you start getting into reusing your designs and creating you know, a system of all the different things that you want to design with, really, it's going to hopefully just pay off more and more when you name it and um, keep that friendly naming uh, just something that you consistently do. So yeah, other things that are coming from this, um, I haven't figured out how we're going to make this work yet, but probably something about the way that you name them should translate into the exported code. At this point, it does not. But at the very least, I'm thinking in a future update when you export your design to code, maybe above each section there'll be a comment, which is the the name that you gave it, um, or maybe potentially even if if I can introduce a feature that's like, we'll take this design and anywhere that there was a nickname, you know maybe break that out into its its own kind of uh, smaller exported code and and give that its own name. Um, yeah, so as of this last update, we have copy and paste across files and we have naming. And these are the ingredients for the design reuse, um, you know, synchronized component, whatever you want to call it, kind of features that um, I'm working on for Details Pro. So coming up next is going to be versions. And then, you know, bouncing off of that, it totally makes sense that the nickname would maybe be the, the name that a reusable design element has everywhere. So yeah, please you know, send me any feedback you have on this feature and let me know how you're using it. Um, there's a bunch of little things like you know, here, for example, when you give an image a name, it still shows the image, um, which I think was the right call. Same with symbols. So if I go, you know, this symbol normally doesn't have anything next to it. But if you do give it a name, you know, here it's, that was a pretty simple name, but maybe in another design, like uh, like here's a good example, you know, here we have these symbols for the kind of weather. Maybe that is called like, you know, weather type. 
So something else that's like generic, and yeah, I'm gonna rename this to time, or actually hour, that makes, it's a little better. And let's call this time block, or no, hour block. You see, it's, it's pretty, it's fun. It's definitely, I'm really glad this feature is in here now, because now we've got an hour block, it's got the hour and the weather type. Awesome. So yeah, hope you enjoy this update. Thanks for watching another video. And please, on Twitter, via email, whatever, let me know what kind of videos you want to see because I love making these and I want to do whatever would help you get more work done. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day.